Russell Joslin was a BBC journalist who'd worked for many years in the West Midlands. He died this week in hospital. It appears he'd taken his own life. And while his family say they don't entirely blame the BBC, they do feel it has questions to answer. He was, they say, harassed by a female colleague. His brother-in-law issued this statement. It's true that we believe there are questions that need answering by the BBC to explain how it could be that Russell formally expressed his very significant concerns about several things going on at work and yet ultimately was not taken seriously. It's understood Russell Joslin, seen here on assignment, spoke last week with BBC managers. The woman he'd complained about says there was no formal complaint, no harassment, and added he had a history of depression and she had at one point been asked to talk to him. Meanwhile, we spoke to another colleague who'd worked with him for nearly 20 years. Everybody liked him, and he loved everybody. You know, he was just one of those people. If he went out anywhere, he would always stop and talk to, to people. He was the correspondent in um, South Warwickshire, and he used to spend his time just chatting to people the whole time, and that's how he found his stories. In response, the BBC said this evening it would consider the coroner's findings carefully and added, we are, of course, in any event, determined that the facts surrounding any concerns raised by Russell Joslin are established. And, of course, this comes at a time of intense scrutiny of the BBC, especially the way the corporation has been dealing with allegations of sexual harassment following all the revelations about Jimmy Savile. David Solito, BBC News, Coventry.